Shalom. Our verse today is Luke chapter 15, verse 21. Then his son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Our verse is the confession that the prodigal son made after he came back to his senses. As we are informed in the story, he requested for a share of his inheritance from his father and left home to a distant country where he squandered all he had in debauchery. From a man with great wealth, he became a pauper away from home and became desperate for food. Even the parts that was food for pigs was a rare commodity for him. He remembered home and the abundance of food in his father's house. This gave him courage to return home to his father. I choose this verse for the day for the day's reflection because I would like to compare and contrast the words of the prodigal son with a similar statement he made mentally in verses 18 and 19. When he came back to his senses, he said, I shall go back to my father and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired workers. Comparatively, what the son decided to say while he was still in the foreign land was exactly what he said when he stood before his father. First, he acknowledges that he has sinned. Second, his sin was against God and against his earthly father. Third, he knows that he no longer deserves to be called a son. Indeed, sin makes us unworthy of our rights as children of God. Sin takes away our right and claim to heaven. In contrast, however, the last statement in the mind of the son was not repeated while he stood before his father. That statement is, Treat me as one of your hired workers. The prodigal son didn't utter these words not because he didn't want to, but because his father wouldn't let him utter them. Immediately the son mentioned his unworthiness before his father, the father ordered the slaves around, quickly bring out the rope, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Verse 22. The action of the father shows that the son didn't lose his sonship. All he lost was the right to exercise it since he left his heritage for something inferior. When we choose sin, we lose our right and claim to the heritage of the sons of God. In contriteness, however, we are fully restored to where we belong. With the rope, that is the garment, the shame of the son was removed and the glory restored. Sin left him tattered, but the father's forgiveness has given him what his sin has destroyed. The ring was a symbol of authority, the son was given back the authority to manage his father's estate once again. Finally, the sandals show that he can not never be a slave in his father's house. Only slaves walk barefooted. My brothers and sisters, when we repent of our wrongdoing, God our Father gives us back everything that sin destroyed. With repentance, the slave mentality we developed as sinners is removed from us through the action of our Father. His action is an effort to correct the wrong notion that sin has created in us. God wants us to know that He is our Father and we His beloved children. God, back, go back to your heavenly Father in contrariness of heart and you shall be restored once again to your glory days. Let us pray. Father, remove the slave mentality in me and give me the courage to always know that I belong to you and you are my God. Take not your spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Amen.